Hey guys, welcome back to more episodes of Americans. We're moving on to episode uh, three of season three. Elizabeth, regardless as to what she is claiming and professing to Philip, is preparing, training, and ultimately getting Paige ready for what is a possible future and outcome for these second wave children that they want to use as agents. And you can see it with you can see it with the way that she is aligning herself with the daughter more than she ever has before and being her friend and doing activities together and at the same time you're seeing her recall back her own past and her even discussing you know I was only 16 when I went to my mother and I told her that I was going to sign up to this for the motherland blah 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 um this could be what finally spits the two of them at some point or it it could have the opposite effect i don't see how at this point we'll just have to wait and see anyway we're gonna carry on this is episode three this is our best bet ted passwell breland's right hand man he's selling his house he's lowered the price twice this month you need the money Assume CIA security is going to be watching him and everyone else on that list. Let's yes. be realistic about CIA security. They can watch all of them every hour of the day. They know who we're targeting. Elizabeth looks at you very differently now. Hmm, I know. Yeah. I just want Paige to make her own decisions. He was very devoted. We all do. Are you sure about that? Do you want Paige to come to the point where she might have to murder all of her family? <laughs> yeah. Standing outside the stride rate. Female. 5'5. Five five. Grey windbreaker and Buster Brand shoes. If I had somebody on you, who would it have been? That guy in the white coat. A checked collared shirt underneath. They okay? Well, yeah, I'm fine. You need to work on seeing the opposite side of the street. I understand. It takes a lot of practice, and even then. Was that wise? Shutting him down like that? I mean, you recruit men, that's part of it, right? What is with you? Yeah. When you met with Gabriel, you talked about Paige. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, it's very frustrating. Yeah, I noticed this catastrophe on my first day. Well, it is time consuming. It's efficient. It takes more time to track down a misplaced file than it takes to hand deliver it. Dude, she's Thank you, Agent Adderholt. Sort of. I'm sorry if I was abrupt the other day. Oh, you weren't abrupt. I should have filled you in right away. I had a bad night. This is going to be another call about a dentist with a 70-year-old patient who slipped on the ice and broke a jaw. Uh, right, right this way. Honey? Uh, you know what? I, I meant to check the attic. Is it the string hanging outside uh, the bathroom? Yeah. Use both hands. It's... Right, OK. Yeah, it's that guy. A viable option. I don't know. That is a big ass phone. Gonna put a listening device in it. Yeah, it's Can't impossible to buy your kids everything they want, right? <laughs> Hurry up! He just put in a tracker inside it, right? Okay. It is him. It's just a picture. I. I saw the picture. I thought it was the other guy. Right, okay. Hi, I, uh, I was just trying to figure out where the heat comes in from the baseboard. Oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just wandered in. Well, it's an open house, right? Yeah, yeah. Listen, this is a great house. You should buy it. But whatever you do, turn this room into a den. Bring work home. Your wife starts to resent it, resent you. Because I saw him in the photograph of what the other guy, the ball guy, I, like I thought yeah, we'd gone with the other one. Good, good. So thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I'll get Gabriel that checking account info tomorrow. Maybe those deposits are coming from somewhere interesting. Oh. Uh, uh, this is a document for your Moscow. Your father put it on the necessary and I got a request to sign it. 
Вам известно, насколько близко связанный мой отец с Андроповым? Доложишь мне о своем решении. They asked for help. We sent three or four guys from Charlie Wizens' team. What about Adderholt? I left him a message. Call him again. You've been driving round for hours. Wow. You'd have no idea all this shit's going on in plain sight. She's becoming way too interested Look. in... I know it's hard on you. Has. All right. Your, your mom and me working so much. It's okay, Dad. I'm fine. I really wish you guys would stop worrying about me. Where are they? Frederick. Approaching Liberty Road. They should grab her. At any given time, she only has to get away from one car. I'm telling you, this is what happened with Herman. F them. CIA's operation. Legally, sir. I know the law, Stan. Get a roadblock. Pull her over now before it's too late. Toledo <laughs> has a target. <laughs> this is nuts. She gets pulled over. If they, they grab her. Get ready to fall in. Chicago, you don't have Toledo either? Ten seconds. Shit, she has radios. Head run. It's calls. I mean, that mission did not end where it was supposed to. I was almost at. Oh. Oh. That fucking tooth. Mmm. He literally just sat there and waited. Really? A pair of fucking oh. normal plies? Oh my god, this is almost as bad as that other one with the stabbing the woman in half in the fucking suitcase. How did she not scream in pain? Uh, oh, for the love of God! <laughs> oh my God, he's having a weak lip. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> no. I've gone all hot. <sighs> Bollocks. <laughs> I had to pause that, sorry. 
Oh my, there, 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 there was some terrific acting, just the eye-to-eye -eye contact and the, the, the graphic nature. Gad tells me you worked in Arkansas with the white supremacists. Yeah, it seems like a long time ago now. I'm not much on war stories, but I'll take the beer. You got three more appearances today. Can I ask you just one thing? Yeah. What did it take to fool them? Tell them what they want to hear. No. Martha, how many more times are you going to have this, this conversation? We were talking about babies. Well, I yeah. don't want kids. Okay. No, because it's temporary, so you can try it out. Like leasing a car? <clears throat> no. Will you stop it? They need it. You don't see the value of sharing that with somebody who doesn't have anything. Somebody young who could learn and grow and have a home. That kind of relationship with a young person that doesn't appeal to you at all? He's got to be very careful with this. I only want the street before the park and by the dry cleaner. Two, actually. One in the window. Picked up a suit. Not a tuxedo, but formal. It takes a lot of time, but you're going to get there. You know, in this line of work, sex is dangerous. There's chemistry, obviously, but there's someone in my life, someone important, and I don't want to screw that up. I understand. What about those bank transfers? <sighs> Paswell's mother is helping him hide the money so his wife doesn't go after it in the divorce. Uh, family. Hide it assets. Sound right. We think there's something there. So if we could get confirmation. No, it's just too risky after what happened. Last He's banking night. his baby, cool sir. For a while. We'd never get within visual range, so surveillance wouldn't have a reason to look at us. If we get him with the babysitter. Not everything is worth the risk, Philip. Because if you bring her into this, anything could happen. That's true for anyone. And that's it. That's all you have to say. We chose to do this with our lives. Is you that in her fate here? To, to live this way. Paige, we'll have a choice. She is 14 years old. Her life has been... Yeah, but the problem is, it's, it's all right saying she has a choice. And that, she, that you're saying that she can choose not to. So, okay. But by giving her that choice, you're telling her for her to make an informed choice. So you're completely destroying her, her life and her outlook and her belief as to what her life is, who she is, who her family is, what the world around her is. You're going to tell her something, which at one point I thought was going to be the conversation that Liz had to have with Jared, except that shit had already happened long ago. But once you tell her to give her a choice, you can't take that back and her not know what this really is. Yep. По нашим сведениям, американцы работают над созданием нового истребителя стелс, бомбардировщиком. Он прав. Это большая разница по отношению ко всему материалу, который нам нужно. Повысил уровень допуска безопасности на 9 единиц. У нас есть информация, где это находится? Да. Хорошо. Я остаюсь. Yeah, I you would. А что насчет твоего отца? Он всегда хотел, чтобы я повзрослел. Joblessness. No freedom of speech, no freedom of press. No. As you say, no bread, many times. We're killing thousands of people to force bad system to them. Our soldiers, our boys, kill and die in a country does not belong to them. I can't have a serious conversation with the boys in my class. The boys. How old is this girl? Just a pass by, we could be anybody on the street. No. We should get photos. Oh, fuck. Kimberly, this is not an appropriate conversation. This is an appropriate conversation. Okay. Oh, she's young. She's young. Good to see you, Isaac. Thanks, Dad. Hi. It's Isaac Freeland. What? The, the girl, her father, that's the head of the CIA Afghan group. Yes, it is.
Hmm. Okay, so... I didn't get a proper look at her. All I got was a view from behind. <laughs> Pretty much, really, of her behind. Um, very slim. Looked young. Sounds to me like a teenager that's flirting with him. Or... Is that something else that her father's got her doing that? I, I don't know, but that was a hell of a risk for them to take there after that whole stealth game of chess with the cars and everything when Elizabeth was pretty much boxed in at that point. I like how it, it, it was an extended scene showing the... Really, the, the fear on, on her face, you could see. She knew that the, the, at any moment, it could be too late and they could just pick her up. They could just, they could just have her. Working in the, 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 the conversation, that, uh, the phone call that Philip had to make to get someone there to intervene and then cause the interference with the radio and the, the accident. I like how it, how it progressed and showed how how it went bit by bit, rather than just a quick throwaway scene. Um, they, they, they kept us focused on it for like 10 minutes. But even after all that, you know, you saw the relief on the pair of them when she walked through the door. No words were spoken. It was just eye to eye contact, that hug. And then again, what is it with this damn show with making me cringe? In the last episode, we had that poor, that poor woman with the scene with them bending her in all sorts of contortionist ways into a suitcase. And then this episode, we get an extended scene of him pulling two pieces of tooth out of her mouth with a pair of pliers out of his toolbox. And the fact that it wasn't over after the first one because it was a crack too. So the first was pulled, then he had to pull the root. Oh my God. Oh my God. That actually made me go hot. <clears throat> Especially with these lights on. <sighs> what are they going to do with Paige? I mean, as I was just mentioning in commentary, him saying she has a choice. That's like saying um, a woman saying to a guy, I'm pregnant. You have a choice. You can be in the, the baby's life or not be in the baby's life. You know, someone who's no longer together. But you can't undo the fact that they then know that they have a baby with you or whether they're with you or not. The information is already out. Same thing. If you give Paige the choice, you are having to bring her into this world to explain who she really is what the family's about, why they're here, and why you are going to be compelled to tackle this and make a choice just like your mother and your father did. Is she strong enough for that? I feel like she's a strong girl, but she's a strong she's strong in a different way. It was different for Les and Philip because they made this choice as young adults in Russia with a Russian upbringing with knowing the country and, and the way that their, their country works and the culture but all Paige has ever known is an American world and consumerism and, and softball games and going out with your friends and, and uh, so I don't know and I think she's getting involved with this activist kind of the things because she is looking for some meaning but going from that to her becoming a Russian spy that's a big jump and it would have to come from her parents so that destroys that as well God knows God knows so now we're informed that that guy is potentially having to um what's the word <laughs> he's having to stop the advances of a teenage babysitter 
from the guy who's the head of the CIA Afghan group who they're desperate to get to and all the information to even though they've just that's why they booked him smart with the mobile phone um, and the, the, the open house gave him the opportunity to be somehow in the house which normally he shouldn't have been and would have raised questions so what did they do with that now I don't know we'll have to wait and find out for the next episode damn it Right, okay, I will be back with episode four uh, next week, guys. Until then, by all means, post your comments down below. Don't forget they're all available over on Patreon. Check the link in the description. As always, full archive of videos for you over there. And I would appreciate it if you haven't already. We're into season three. If you do like this show, don't forget to subscribe. It's a very long-standing show. We've got quite a few seasons to go yet. And the further in we get, the more intriguing it's getting. I love it. I love spy stuff. You know what I do. Right, see you for episode four next week. Take care.